Hallo und willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin's, euer Odo. Wir sind zurück bei Sam and Max Hit the Road. Ähm, leider bin ich das letzte Mal vor etwa in diesem Spiel wenig gespielt. Ich habe ich selbst keine Ahnung mehr. Das ist nicht gut bei Adventures, vor allem bei Adventures ein kein oder sowas in die Richtung haben, so wie dieses hier. Uh, jetzt muss ich mich selbst wieder ein wenig zurechtfinden. Looks like a before and after shot. Before and after shot. Okay. A patron scene of Bigfoots? Der Typ schaut aus wie dieses Gemälde, was wir im, im Dings gefunden haben. Vielleicht sollten wir dieses Gemälde mal mitnehmen. Vielleicht müssen wir das daher tun. Vielleicht kann man das gemäher, vielleicht hätte ich das mitnehmen können. Das habe ich nicht geschrieben, wo ich das mitnehmen kann. Dentistry? Dentistry. Ein Zahn. Wir brauchen den Zahn von einem Dinosaurier. Okay. Ich glaube, ich sollte eindeutig sein. Zahn von einem Dinosaurier. Wo wir den finden, ist schon klar. Da den alten Mann. Before and After Picture. Hm. Keine Ahnung, was das sein könnte. What is this? Some kind of tornado? Ah, das ist sicher irgendwas mit dem. Ah, da brauchen wir wahrscheinlich die die Schneekugel. Schneekugel. I can't use these things together. Ich hab's befürchtet. Wahrscheinlich müssen wir sie noch füllen. So, wenn wir nochmal mit ihm vielleicht erzählen uns, was wir wissen wollen. Okay, Sam. He's here, we're here. Let's go. Wait, go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I am staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. You're getting soft, Sam. <laughs> We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Ah, jetzt wollen wir das Bild, können wir uns das anschauen. What do you make of that totem pole on the far left? Let me take a look. Hmm. Well, it's a totem pole. And? It's made of wood. It's not too late to take him back to the carnival, you know. <laughs> yes, Steve. Any keen Bigfoot insights into the totem pole with a tooth on it? I've been staring at that one for hours and... Yes? I think it has something to do with teeth. Yes. I'm not holding my breath, but do you have any clue who the guy in the third totem pole is? Nope. He sure seems to get along with vegetables, though. Sam, the guy in that pole's got a marshmallow. So? Vegetables. I want a marshmallow. Max, you are a marshmallow. Ah, we have ja dieses, dieses Gemüse things auch gehabt. Vielleicht ist es auch das irgendwie. See that totem pole? What about it? What do you think it means? Hmm. I've got it. What did you tell them? I told them to start looking for bald guys with spaghetti on their heads. Hey, jetzt. So what do you think about all this? I'm just happy to be here, Sam. Happy to be at room temperature and happy to be free at last. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Max, what? What were you saying, Bruno? Hmm. I lost my thought. Darn. How'd you and Trixie meet, anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But I've loved her ever since that first night she snuck into the freak tent and sang me to sleep with a Scrantonese lullaby. <laughs> and you want to put him back in a block of ice? Yeah. So, I give up. <laughs> well, now that Conroy's out of your hair, what are you going to do? Try brushing it, maybe? Well, I've still got the Cushmans to worry about, so I guess I'm still a little tense. 
Okay. Be seeing this. you. Not if I see you first. Gut. Also da brauchen wir, glaube ich, das Tornado-Ding. Da brauchen wir einen Zahn von einem Dinosaurier. Da brauchen wir irgendwas mit Gemüse. Und da habe ich keine Ahnung, was wir brauchen. Na gut, ähm, geht in diese Richtung weiter? Nein. Doch. Oder auch nicht. Oh. Oh. Das ist interessant. Sprechen wir mal mit dem Typ. Knock, knock. Who's there? Vanuatu. Vanuatu who? Vanuatu stop clowning around and help us save the Bigfoots? What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Okay. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Wild and always moving. What's your take on the second totem pole? I'm glad you asked. You see, I believe that it represents the sharp edge of ancient history. The fantastic staying power of the Yeti people over the millennia. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob das mehr hilft als das, was wir vorher gehört haben dazu. How does the third pole figure into the scheme of things? Let me be very clear. That pole constitutes the harmony from the coexistence of two similar beings. A harmony that springs from mutual respect and understanding. What does the fourth totem pole represent? Vielleicht I'm asked that very question all the time. Well, answer, rapid growth. Rapid growth? What can you tell us about Bruno? Is it me, or does it feel as if we've asked just about everybody in the country about Bruno? Oh, Bruno. Full of vim and vigor, ready to take on the world. It reminds me of when I was his age. What do you think about Trixie? She's such a sweet girl and very representative of the open-mindedness of our Yeti leadership. We're very proud of that. What's your official stance on Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus is a threat to the American way of life. It has been and continues to be of highest importance that we rid ourselves of this most negative influence on the young people of our brave new world. <laughs> the missus and I sure like his music, though. <laughs> You know, I'm really anxious about this whole totem pole thing. It'll work. Trust me. I met Anxious once. He's the one with the drool in his beard. That wasn't Anxious. It was your cotton candy. Well, that certainly clears up one mystery. <laughs> What happens when we've satisfied the requirements laid forth by the totem poles? Strict requirements. The world will be harmonious again. Overly strict requirements. Okay. We'll be back. I'll be here. What? Show me more what's this. The pool of decadence. Bring me as many naked women as my poor eyes can stand. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Max, you don't even like girls. Oh yeah, I forgot. Can we benutzen? Maybe after this case is over. Echt? Man. Wir können hier sicher irgendwas reinfüllen. Noch das Ding, vielleicht können wir es gleich füllen. I can't talk to that. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. My keen Bigfoot instincts tell me that you're wrong. I think I've figured out one of the totem poles. My keen Bigfoot instincts tell me that you're wrong. Ah, we can give him things. That is good. But I will still try to do it with the water becken. Not with him. I think I've figured out one of the totem poles. Okay, we can give him things. My keen Bigfoot instincts tell me that you're wrong. 
Ok, schau wir mal, was haben wir da noch alles? Wir haben einen Screwdriver. Ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass die Sachen da irgendwas bringen. Was machen wir mit dem Polster? Ist irgendeine Haarlotion drauf, dass die Haare wachsen, soweit ich mich erinnern kann. Wahrscheinlich müssen wir irgendwas schnell wachsen lassen. Was ist das? These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park. In some place called the Celebrity... Das hat uns nur dorthin gebracht. Ich brauchen werden. Okay, dann würde ich fast sagen, gehen wir wieder raus. Können wir die auch noch nach dem Ding fragen? Mrs. V? Yes. Ja, die kann man auch nach dem Ding fragen. So, what's your take on that tornado totem pole? Well, my husband thinks it's some sort of homage to the wild and woolly nature of us Bigfoots. But if you ask me, I think it's an indictment of people who don't wash their hands before dinner. I remember when we had our niece Jay over for dinner and I said, Jay, don't you touch that bread until you wash the icor off your fur. Then she had the nerve to say... Why does that totem have a big tooth on it? Well, hon, some Bigfoots would have you believe that it's a symbol of power or some such. But if you want my opinion... And I can't imagine why we would... I think that pole represents the importance of visiting your dentist regularly. Life's funny, Sam. When I woke up this morning, I thought I'd just watch some TV and shoot some criminals. Now a big stinky forest creature is giving me a lecture on dental hygiene. I'm not joking, buddy. <laughs> Why do you think all those dinosaurs died out anyway? To impress the babes? No, it was tooth decay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy with a hat on the third totem pole? I thought he was you. I don't think so. Then I'm at a loss. Have you given any thought to the totem pole with the two heads on it? Well, hon, it's either a visualization of our sun god's development and growth, or an ancient advertisement for an herbal mixture for balding Bigfoots. Bald Bigfoots? Ew! Ja, da ist sicher... Na, möglicherweise haben wir doch den Dings, den... I wish my hair was more like yours. I can't do a thing with mine. That's why he always wears a hat. You should talk to my hair care specialist, Janet. She does marvelous work. Why, just last autumn, she was soaking my head and I said, Janet, you're just about the best hair care specialist I've ever known. Then she had... Gotta go. Don't be a stranger. I don't know if the other ones will say something. Hey, Stretch. What can I do for you, O oh honored guest? In your delusional opinion, what would you make of the first totem pole? Well, the great winds depicted represent the chaos caused by the return of our alien brothers. Not entirely unlike the gust of wind we're hearing now. <laughs> Any further insights into the dental totem pole? The truth of the tooth escapes me. The aliens the have their of the own two. reasons. What about the totem pole with a man on it? I think he's a Bigfoot alien hybrid. An Uber Yeti, perhaps. What do you think of the totem with the two faces? Obviously, our alien ancestors were hairless, and clearly their intention was to evolve into the beings of total hair we are today. Hey, I'm evolved, and I didn't even know it. Actually, <laughs> you're just fuzzy. I'm devastated. Gotta go. Ich weiß nicht, ob mir diese Typen alle äh, äh, helfen. <lacht> Oder mich mehr verwirren. Gut, wir fragen ihn auch noch. Excuse me. Huh? So what did you think of the first totem pole? Dude, it's a picture of the ultimate wave machine. Ultimate wave machine, hm. 
How about the second totem pole? There's more than one. Three more, actually. Four altogether. I guess I missed them. How could you miss them? They're right there. Dude, chill. They're just totem poles. Do you remember the pole with a man on it? You mean the peace and happiness pole? Sam, I don't think this guy's got enough wax in his pole. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd know about the fourth totem pole. Are you still talking to me? Who's the president of the United States? I thought they split up. Okay, I think we're done here. Yeah, and so was he. <laughs> Gotta go. Mahalo, dude. Okay, schauen wir mal, ob wir dem draußen auch noch fragen können. Sie könnten wir vielleicht auch fragen. Vielleicht spricht mehr. Join the party. If it's all the same to you, I think I'll just stay out here and file my coins. Okay, mit ihm können wir nicht sprechen. I still can't believe that you're Evelyn Morrison. Maybe this will make a believer out of you. <coughs> ah, it's a giant shrew. Well, <laughs> works for me. Man can see nicht danach fragen. About Conroy Bumpus. Do not speak that name in Evelyn Morrison's presence. He is but a mere candle when compared to her supernovic brilliance. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will always be there for her admirers. Hast du auf den armen Vogel hier? It's just a typical brain dead toucan. Don't be silly. I can't use these things together. Nicht. Kann ich ihn nehmen? Nein, kann ich nicht. Kann ich noch nicht benutzen. Na gut. Ähm, ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass wir den noch brauchen irgendwann einmal. Aber jetzt sind wir on our way again. Fahren wir zuerst zu äh, Dumpus Will. Ich glaube, wir kennen alles, was wir kennen. Eigentlich haben wir hier noch nicht alles auf. Außerdem jetzt sind keine Leute mehr da, weil wir sie ja eingesperrt haben. Da hinten war das. Da, dieses Bild. Ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass es damit zu. A stunning portrait of John Muir, famous naturalist. Wir können es tatsächlich nehmen. Ich bin so. Wo ist das nicht genommen? Wir können noch andere Dinge nehmen hier. <lacht> Conroy's first and last guitar. Ja, mit den entsprechend nein. verwenden kann ich sie auch nicht. Nein, da kann man nicht drauf. Bam, will seems. Ich glaube, dass er alles machen kann. Hoffentlich zumindest. Hm. Genuine imitation American style chest. Not intended for any kind of use. A great addition for your genuine imitation American collection. Home shopping. Definitely. Ich denke, muss nicht. Na dann. Let's. Schauen wir nochmal in die andere Richtung. Da haben wir wahrscheinlich schon alles, was wir wollten. Uh. The best never rest. It's a pedestal. 
There's nothing to pick up anymore. Okay. rausgeholt wir hatten aber das Ding mhm. was ist mit da drinnen haben wir da irgendwas vergessen It's a virtual reality helmet. Can this for pain? The equipment's broken. Echt? Warum? Heißt das, wir können das auch nicht mehr verwenden? Ärgerlich. Ich meine, es war jetzt nicht so großartig, aber. <lacht> This painting's like a car wreck. I can't stop staring at it. No, this can't be taken. Well, well, well. It's customary to throw money into these things. Nah, this thing's malfunctioning. Okay. Can anything with you on me? Ah. Okay. Oh, der Bus von ihm ist weg. <lacht> Ekelhaft. Oh. Ach so. Ha, das war nicht der Brunnen, sondern es war Max dazwischen. Brunnen verwenden. Okay, okay, wir haben was gefunden. Was machen wir jetzt? Ich glaube, mit dem, mit dem Gemüse hat es irgendwas zu tun. Außerdem haben wir da noch fast nichts gemacht. Wo geht's da hin? Incidentally, we're out of milk. I'll make a note. Was ist das für ein Likeness from Picture? Warte mal, wir haben ein Bild. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, hä? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. This is a monument to human ingenuity. Thanks, bunches, Sonny. Well, bye. Warte mal, können wir das da auch geben? Vielleicht weg so schneller. I don't think she'd want that. Nein, doch nicht. Okay, gut. Um, das heißt, wir müssen später wieder kommen, nehme ich mal an. Indiana Jones in the Temple of Shrooms. It's a whole heap of eggplants shaped like Conroy Bumpus head. Nein, können wir nicht mehr nehmen.
Which one of these guys is the walrus? The celery stalk. I wonder what's holding those mop tops up. I wonder what's holding those mop tops up. Okay. Ja, dann noch gehen vielleicht. Ja. A well-tended garden of mutant vegetables is like a melody. That avocado is Governor Connolly. Okay, 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 okay. Gut, ähm... Um da wollten wir hin, weil ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass wir einen Zahn von dem Dinosaurier brauchen. Schauen wir mal, ob wir zu diesem Dinosaurier kommen zum Zahn rauf. It's a fearsome maw. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Du. I can't use these things together. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the Lake Jurassic... Ah, okay. I can't use these things together. Hi, my name is Rex. Nothing the Thunder Lizard. Reden. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor sharp teeth. <laughs> Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut. But they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During okay. the late Jurassic period. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. Hmm. I can't use these things. It's an ice pick. Ah, an ice pick. Is it got can? It's got can. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I wonder how he flossed with those itty bitty hands. How he flossed hands. Yeah. Okay, good. Um. It's a fearsome maw. I wonder how he flossed okay, with those itty bitty hands. Okay, it's really two different things. That means we can take this out. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Wir müssen es nur schaffen, irgendwie seine Zähne runterzuhauen. It's a bucket of golf. I can't use these things together. Ich hätte gerne rausgeschossen mit dem Ding. Ja, wenn man dann beginnt, alles zu machen, wenn man nicht mehr weiter weiß. Ähm... Um. <lacht> Nehmen wir das. das hat bis jetzt schon öfter mal geholfen. I can't use these things together. Schade eigentlich. I can't use these things together. Hm. Hat ich schade. It's my little buddy. Yeah, my little buddy. I can't use these things together. Can 
werden wir nochmal runterspringen und jetzt mit dem Magneten in der Hand. It's a line of cheery children. Oh, the humanity. Where? We want to ride the tar slide. Line forms in the back, Shep. Can we cut in line? Not on your life, Fido. So long, Squirt. Oh, it's a natural woodland creature enjoying the advancements of humankind. And his friend with the snout seems to be submerged in the fun as well. <laughs> I can't use these things. It's a broken golf ball. I can't use these things together. How can you take this smell? After a while, your nose will go numb and you won't care. Trust me. Okay, we couldn't need more fun. Hmm. Bye. So long, cutie. Quit that. Ah, doch nicht. Wir können noch mal. I can't use these things together. Okay, ich glaube jetzt höre ich auf und mach die Tür auf. Bis dann.